When I was a young boy, I would sit down to watch Batman, and if Batgirl appeared during the opening credits, I would cheer. I was so happy. Uh, I had a huge crush on Batgirl. Later found out that many of us did. Y Yvonne once said at a convention, she thought that the reason why was because uh, she was the first woman we were seeing in a skin-tight outfit. But no, no, I think uh, what made Batgirl special was that uh, Yvonne brought so much of herself to the role. I mean, Batgirl was playful and adventurous. Uh, she was dedicated to helping others. She was energetic. She was loving to her uh, family and friends. She was approachable and uh, relatable. She was smart and clever, she, strong and capable, and uh, you know, very much a girl next door, but able to uh, take on supervillains. And she had this grace to her. She didn't so much as walk as uh, glide and spin and dance. Uh, Yvonne loved to dance. She started ballet at the age of 10, joined the Ballet Russe at the age of 16. Uh, she once said one reason she chose the Ballet Russe is because she wanted to dance in Swan Lake. Uh, she was at first reluctant to uh, also start acting, but later grew to love that as well. She was always you know, very professional, well-prepared, and, and smart. Uh, she danced in many of her roles. She danced with Bing Crosby in one movie and with Elvis in another. And on Star Trek, she actually uh, choreographed and uh, performed a dance when she played a green Orion woman. Yvonne herself was very gracious and open uh, with her fans. She was uh, had quite a memorable uh, smile and laugh, very genuine. I think her greatest gift to us uh, is Batgirl. Uh, she was the first female superhero on screen and a wonderful role model, you know, what, you know showing what a, a young woman could uh, be and do. So, I mean, you know, before Linda Carter's Wonder Woman, before Xena and Buffy, before Nikita and Scully, before Leia and Elsa, you know, there was Barbara Gordon, brought to life by uh, Yvonne Craig.